the new Underwood Tigers enter tonight's game with an overall record of 15 and 8. For the Lyman Raiders tonight at a guard, we will see Bailey Allman, a 5'8 senior, along with Chesney Garno. She is a 5'8 senior. The forward, Durana Flitner, a 5'8 senior, along with Brooklyn Halverson. Brooklyn is a 5'11 freshman, and starting at center is Keeley Halverson. Keeley is a 5'10 senior. So for the, the Raiders, it will be Allman and Garno, the guard, Flitner and Halverson, the forward, Halverson at center. For the Lyman Raiders, the District 13 team champions to enter tonight's game with an overall record of 14 and 8. The head coach of the Lyman Raiders is Cooper Garno. And finally, in our free game, the announcement of our game officials from the Office of Attorney General and their Division of Consumer Protection. Tonight's team officials, as assigned by the South Dakota High School Activities Association, are Mark Nagle, Chip Frankie, and Justin Tobar. Chip is controlled by New Underwood, Shawnee Flynn, who will handle the uh, point guard duties for New Underwood. She'll have the basketball first as the Tigers win the tip and have the basketball. Brindley at the top of the key as they work it around the perimeter. Tillotson back, or Cogdale back to uh, Brindley now as they work it around the perimeter, try to feed it inside. We'll see a little 2-3 zone from the Raiders to start out. Flint again working at the top. She'll penetrate, tries to pass it out, got it into the hands of Phillipson, and back out front it comes in a very patient opening possession for New Underwood. Phillipson deep in the left corner. Back out now Autumn Cogdale as they work it back to the right side and into the hands of Shawnee Flint. Back to uh, Cogdale on a drive. Shot is up, no good. Rebound, Lyman. Here's Bailey Allman with the basketball as the Raiders are pushing into their front court. We have played a minute of this opening quarter and we're scoreless. Here is Garnos in the left wing, out front to Haley Halverson now. And we see a little 2-3 zone put on by New Underwood as well. Both teams with some good size in the middle. So we will see some zone from this uh, both of these squads from time to time. Here is Allman on the left wing, back out front. Here's Anna Flitner to the left side as she sends it back to the top of the key. Garnos to Allman, who is closed out on quickly. You remember in the uh, district tournament, she really had the hot end, especially... In the semifinals, as she hit seven threes, a foul out front, whistled on New Underwood. It is on Autumn Cogdill. Here is Garnos in the right corner. Trap comes. Garnos will send it back out front. Here is Allman now. As she goes back to Garnos in the right wing, bounce pass to the baseline. Halverson. Brooklyn will deal and send it back out front. Here is Allman, Halverson, Flitner from 15, shot it too strong and no good, rebound Brooklyn, Halverson, beats right, moves left, loses the ball, but Anna Flitner is there to pick up the basketball and the shot is good. One of the things we talked about with Cooper Garnos, and we uh, had to, a little bit to think of start to get on the air than we planned on as we wonder what throws the basketball away. One of the keys for Lima tonight is win those 50-50 battles, those uh, plays that could go either way. The Raiders need to get control of those and win that battle, and they won that one as Flitner was able to score on the inside. So a 2 to nothing lead for Lyman as the Raiders work with the basketball. Here is Flitner on the wing left side to the top. Garno, she'll launch a long three, and it's funny. Jesse <laughs> Garno from downtown, and it is 5 to nothing Lyman with 5.40 remaining in the opening quarter. And here is New Underwood up the floor in a hurry as they'll work with it at the top. Here is Brindley. Now to Flint, to the baseline it comes. And New Underwood will work the basketball back out front. To the top of the key, here is Bent left to the wing, Brindley. Three is taken. It is up, no good. Rebound controlled by Lyman. After New Underwood keep it, kept it alive, here is Garnos to Halverson. Brooklyn on the drive, and the shot is good. Seven nothing Raiders. And we hear the fly to the mark of the opening quarter. Here is Phillipson working at the top. Now Flint with it as they go to the corner. With the basketball meter order and back to the top. Here is Flint who will try to attack the rim, but it's cut off by the Raiders. A shot taken. That is up no good by Bentleff. And the Raiders have the uh, basketball. They have scored on their last three possessions. Here's Allman with a heat check. That is up no good. Rebound long. It is Haley Halverson who has it, and then she's bumped, and the ball will go out of bounds. They will say last touch by the Raiders, and it will be New Underwood basketball. Here is Phillipson across the time stripe as they go to the corner now. Carly Robertson with it, and back to the top of the key as the Raiders will stay in that 2 3 zone. She, uh, Cheyenne Brentliff, she'll operate and send it back to the top of the key. You wonder what figures out a way to attack that zone. Phillipson, and back out to the wing. Here's Lexi Niederwerder, the skip pass. 
but defended well by the Raiders. They'll throw another skip pass. Niederwerder to the baseline. It goes. Robertson will send it back to the top of the key. So here's an attack and a drive for the rim. Shot it too strong. No good. Rebound Lyman. Here come the Raiders. Halverson on the drive to the rack, and it's no good. Rebound. Haley Halverson. That shot won't go, and New Underwood will come away with the rebound. So it's seven to nothing now. The Raiders with the lead. We're inside of four minutes remaining in the first quarter. And we're going to have a timeout big. New Underwood will take a 30 second timeout here. And it's seven to nothing. Lyman is New Underwood looking for their first points of the ball game as they come out of the timeout and work with it. And we see the Raiders stay in that man to man. The Tigers will attack it with the basketball, Taylor Brindley. They bob it inside. Here is a shot taken. That's Cheyenne Bentliff. Shot is no good, but there for the offensive rebound is Carly Robertson. Robertson will put it up and in, and New Underwood is on the board at the 320 mark of the first quarter. It is 7-2 Raiders. Bailey Allman with the basketball right wing. To the top of the key, this is Chesney Garnos, now Anna Flintner. They'll throw the skip pass Art, uh, to uh, Allman. Inside Flintner, check it. Brooklyn Halverson, and the shot is up good. Brooklyn Halverson, the freshman now with four points. Nine to two is our score. Inside of three minutes remain in the quarter. As New Underwood looks for points, and a quick three take, and that is up no good. Rebound, Phillipson, that shot is blocked, and a foul is going to be called. Foul on Ashley Mortensen will be her first. She checked into the, into the ball game at the uh, timeout. And the first one is up, and it is no good. We have two minutes and 49 seconds remaining in this opening corner. Nine to two, Raiders have the lead. And as Phillipson gets ready with free throw number two, and that one is up, and that one is good. So the six-foot freshman hits one of two. And it's a six-point game as the Raiders will work with it. Allman slowly across the time stripe. As New Underwood will stay in that 2-3 zone. Halverson, now Allman with it out front to the left side. Flitner and back to the top of the key. Here's Bailey Allman, Brooklyn, Halverson. Jesney Garnos on the right. They try the entry pass, and it's tipped and stolen away. First turnover for Lyman. And here comes New Underwood trying to rally. It's next to Niederwerder across the time stripe. Bob inside Phillipson, but there he, defensively is Allman. Second turnover on New Underwood as Allman will run the floor, get it to Flipner. That shot is blocked. Loose basketball. Raiders had it for a moment. Now it's tied up, and the possession arrow will point towards Lyman. So the Raiders will inbound it. Allman will trigger the inbound to Mortensen, and the shot is blocked. Phillipson with another defensive play. And here come the Tigers trying to cut into that six-point lead again as Niederwerder crosses the time stripe, sends it to the corner, and there's nobody home. Ball goes out of bounds, turnover on New Underwood. That is number three. And Lyman will have the basketball. Nine-three is our score as we work inside of two minutes remaining in this opening quarter. Across the time drive, Allman. Now Flitner. Back to Allman, who will go high post. Here's Brooklyn Halverson. She'll fade to her left and fire. Shot is up, no good. Rebound, to Andrew. Put that good. Help the basket, and the foul is gone. Peter Andrew with some big plays in the district championship game. She makes a big play there. The basket will count. It will be her first points of the night. And a foul called on New Underwood, and that will be whistled. Against the Tigers as the free throw is up, and it is good, and that makes it a 12-3 to score. They put the foul up on number 10, but uh, there's no number 10 in the ballgame for New Underwood. We'll get that straightened out in a moment. Here's a three taken by New Underwood. Shot is up, no good. Rebound is loose, and out of bounds off of the Tigers, and Lyman will have the basketball. The foul was whistled. On Carly Robertson, or check it, it's on Cheyenne Bentley. So Cheyenne picks up her first first. Well, either way, it's the second team foul on New Underwood. As Lyman has the ball knocked out of bounds as the uh, Tigers stay in that 2-3 zone, but they're starting to overplay the passing lane just a little bit. As Lyman will put it in play, Splitner with the basketball on the left side, she'll direct some traffic. 
dribbles to her left, sends it back out front. Here's Bailey Allman to Jandrew. Jandrew to Mortensen, deep in the right corner, and Ashley will send it back out. Now inside it comes to Halverson. Shot is blocked and no good. Loose ball. And New Underwood has possession of it, and the foul's going to be called on Lyman. It will be on Anna Flitner. And Anna will pick up her first personal foul. Second team foul. Whistled against the Raiders. 12-3 is our score. We are inside of a minute remaining in this opening quarter. And New Underwood looked for answers. One field goal. That came at the 320 mark of the quarter. Plus one free throw for their three points so far. They have, shru- have struggled offensively. As the Tigers again try to lob the ball inside. But they are cut off well. So out front. A long two taken. And that is up and good. That is Autumn Cogdill. And her shot is good there, and that's the thing if you're wondering why New Underwood was able to move through the district tournament and win it, coming in as a number three seed. Well, head coach Tim Hall said we just shot the ball very well down the home stretch this season, and uh, they did a nice job of putting the ball in the basket, even though uh, they saw a lot of zone and saw a lot of defense as a defense uh, played against Brianna Phillipson, the six-foot freshman. They expected that. The perimeter players hit some big threes and some long jumpers. That kind of loosened the defense up. That helped them out a lot. Second one down. The Raiders take a shot there. That is Halverson. Shot is no good. Tip up by Jandrew won't go. And that's the end of quarter number one. It is Lyman 12, New Underwood 5. And our coverage of the Region 7B Championship will continue from 94 country. New Underwood has the basketball first as uh, they work with it around the perimeter. It comes into the left side. Ball is tipped and out of bounds, and New Underwood will throw it in again as we are just underway here in this opening quarter. On the left side, it comes. As the Tigers work it around, we see a little man-to-man put on here by the Raiders. As the Tigers work it to the left side again, here's Carly Robertson inside Phillipson over the top of the defense, and the shot is up and good. And that is something the Raiders right now do not have an answer for. Brianna Phillipson, if she gets the ball at point-blank range, she is dangerous and has been all season long. The freshman scores her first field goal and has three points in the ball game, and it's 12-7. Ashley Mortensen, Bailey Allman, Peter Jandrew, Anna Flitner, Brooklyn Halverson on the floor for Lyman as we play one minute of quarter number two. Mortensen will deal. Bounce pass inside. Dipped and stolen away. Second turnover on Lyman. Here comes New Underwood up the floor in a hurry. It's Cogdill across the time stripe as the Raiders will dig into a man-to-man. At the wing now, Carly Robertson. Now to the right side, Shawnee Flint. Back to Robertson as there's double coverage at the post on the inside. So to the left wing it comes. And into the hand selection, Niederwerder. Entry pass, tip, stolen away. Turnover number four on New Underwood. Here is Jandrew up the floor. And a tough shot there, and the shot is good. Peter Jandrew with five points, and it is 14 to 7. The Raiders back to their biggest lead of the ball game with six and a half minutes remaining until half time. Here's Johnny Flint inside the arc. Jumper taken there. It's up no good. Rebound out of bounds and off of Lyman. Tigers will inbound from the left side of the key. As Phillipson will check out of the uh, contest as well for the uh, Tigers. Here is a drive by Taylor Brindley, and she's held, and a foul called against the Raiders. Jandrew and Flitner were in the vicinity, and in the end, it'll be on Brooklyn Halverson. She'll be whistled for the first goal, and that will be her first. It will be the third team foul whistled against Lyman. As the uh, Tigers will end out it, they work it around the perimeter, and then Halverson will go right back to the scorer's table as the uh, Tigers again try to throw the ball inside, and again the Raiders were there and make the defensive play. That is five turnovers, as Allman will take a three. That is no good. Rebound to New Underwood, and they have a chance to draw closer. They trail 14 to 7. Out of the turnover, Allman with a quick three. Here's a three by New Underwood, and it is good. Lexi Niederwerder drops the three-pointer, the first three of the night, and now a timeout taken as the Raiders will take a timeout here with 5.44 remaining first half. 14 to 10 is our score as Lyman has the lead. Keely Alverson, Chesney Garnos back into the ballgame for Lyman. 
It is Haley with the basketball now, right corner. They reverse it, Cedar Jandrew, now to Chesney Garnos. Chesney almost double dribbled. The defense team and uh, play, overplayed the pass instead of the shooters. The John Garnos tried a three. That shot was short and no good, and on the rebound, it will go out of bounds, and New Underwood will have it. And it is Autumn Cogdill who will bring the basketball up the floor. Now Taylor Brindley will cross the time stripe as they go to the wing right side. Here's back to her left side, Niederwerder. Back out now, a three is taken. That is up no good by Taylor Brindley. Rebound, Lyman, foul on New Underwood. And the uh, personal here is on Bentlift, and that will be Cheyenne's second personal foul. And the third team foul. As Peter Jandrew works it. Haley Halverson will pass it out front into the hands of Jesse Garnos. Now it's Anna Flitner with the basketball. Garnos, high post, Halverson, kick out, Flitner fires from 15, it is up and it is good. Anna Flitner with the bucket, she has four points, 16 to 10 now, as we work to the four and a half minute mark remaining in this first half. Cogdill with the basketball on the left side. Man-to-man -man applied by the Raiders, who started out in zone to play man-to-man -man here. Three is taken, and it's up good, and that is Taylor Brindley. Second three-pointer for New Underwood. 16 to 10 is our score as we work to the halfway mark of quarter number two. Flitner on the left wing. Out front, Chesney Garno. Back it comes now to Flitner. Get past Jandrew as Cedar will drive. Double team comes, so back out front it goes. Loose ball, and it's stolen away. Dipped away by New Underwood and the Tigers. A three would be handy for New Underwood at this point as we are at the halfway mark of quarter number two. To the corner it comes. It is Lexi Niederwood or inside Phillipson. Shot is good. Basket will count. The Raiders will take another timeout. 3.52 remains in our first half. 16-15 Raiders. The six-foot freshman one of two from the stripe and the free throw here is good. 16-16 is our score. 3.52 remains in the first half. Bailey Allman back in the ball game. She'll slowly work the ball across the time strike. Here is Flitner to Allman. Allman to Garnos as they go left side. Here is Allman again. Back to Flitner on the left side and back to the top of the key. Little 2-3 zone uh, applied by New Underwood, but again, Tigers starting to overplay those passing lanes a little bit. Here is Halverson on the inside. Brooklyn shot is short. And the rebound pulled down by New Underwood. The Tigers will work with it. And Cogdale will handle and bring it across the half-court strike. To the wing now, Lexi Niederwerder. Back out to Cogdale. They will reverse it. And to the left side, here is Cheyenne Bentliff. Inside Phillipson. Shot is up no good. She'll get her own rebound, and the putback is good. Rihanna Phillipson with eight points down in the ball game, And for the first time tonight, New Underwood has the lead. It is 18-16. Here's Lyman, across the time stripe and to the left side. Allman, Halverson to the top now. Garnos on the drive, has the ball poked away, but Chesney has to uh, retrieve it. She gets it back, and the Raiders will save the possession. Now it is Allman to Garnos, and again that 2-3 zone stretches out. Blitner on the wing, high post, Allman bounce pass, Garnos takes the three and drives to the corner. High post, Halverson. Back to Allman, who uh, can't get the trigger pulled on a shot. Now she'll force one and leave it short. No good. Rebound pulled down by New Underwood. And up the floor they come. Niederwerder across the time stripe with 2.20 remaining until halftime. Here is a cross-court pass. Dent left. Frick for it. It's coming. Not dead left. Pardon me. Taylor Brindley, her second three-pointer. And it's 21 to 16 in this is a 12-0 run by New Underwood as the Raiders need a basket badly. We're down to two minutes remaining in the first half. Allman on the wing left or right side. Now Mortensen operating in the right corner. Uses the dribble up, needs some help as Allman will come get the basketball. Bailey with it. Left side and back out front. It is Flitner to Garno. Garno will attack the defense, try to finish with the left hand, leave the shot short. And we're going to have another timeout taken by Lyman. This is the third timeout used by the Raiders here in the second quarter. As now the Raiders try to inbound it from the left side to the right. And the ball is shifted out of bounds. And Lyman will have to inbound it again. It is Flitner from the right corner. Jumper is taken. It is up no good. Brooklyn Halverson with the offensive rebound. Now Garnos with the basketball. Get past Allman. Bates the three. Tries to attack. Ball is loose. Tied up, but the jump ball will stay 
to our right with the Raiders. As they will have it on the alternating possession, and again, Anna Flitner making a nice hustle play. The 25 remaining until halftime. Here is Allman with the inbound, Garna. With the uh, basketball on the left side, Bailey, or Chesney will dribble to the right. Now it's Ashley Mortensen back to Garnos, and Chesney doesn't pull the trigger on the three, although she was open momentarily. That's something that we saw the Raiders do in the district tournament. If the ball was uh, even close to open, these girls were putting shots up. They're not doing it here, as Garnos will try to feed it inside. It is Flitner as the Raiders try to attack that 2-3. Here's Ashley Mortensen, corner jumper, it's no good. Rebound pulled down by Phillipson, and New Underwood has a chance to add to the lead as we're inside of a minute remaining in the first half. Cross the time strike, New Underwood. Here is Carly Robertson, and she travels. New Underwood with six turnovers, the Lyman Raiders with three. But Lyman has just went stone cold from the field here in quarter number two. In fact, Lyman has just scored four points in the second quarter of basketball. Time winds down here in the period. Garno driving to the left side. Now Flitner with it. And on the wing is stopped up. But the dribble used up needs some help. So Bailey Allman comes and gets the basketball. Here is Flitner. Skip past Garno. Chesney will drive and fire. Shot is off glass and short. Rebound pulled down by New Underwood. And the Tigers with a chance for the final shot of the first half. Cross the time drive. Niederwerder. Working against Garno. Chesney will steal it away. Hold the basketball, get it to Allman. Bailey will cross the time stripe. We're down to five seconds. Allman, three ball, no good. The ball will go out of bounds to New Underwood. This first half will come to a close as it will come in, and that will be the end of the first half of basketball. But that 12 nothing run by the New Underwood Tigers has given them the lead as they go to the bench here at the halftime break. It is New Underwood 21 and the Lyman Raiders 16. New Underwood with the basketball. We're underway here in quarter number three. Flint, Cogdale, Niederwerder, Brindley, and Phillipson on the floor for New Underwood. Here is Shawnee Flint who will work with the basketball right corner and send it back out front. Here's a drive and a shot taken by Autumn Cogdale. Shot is no good. Rebound pulled down by New Underwood though. After the rebound comes off long and the Tigers will track it down. So again, Cogdale will work with it. Now Flint, high post to come. Here's next to Niederwerder. She'll drive and kick it back out. Now Flint on the wing right side. And back out front as the Raiders really working hard on the defensive side of the ball. Trying to keep it away from Phillipson as well, who is really uh, the uh, player that did some damage for the Tigers. Here's a drive by, drive by Niederwerder. Shot is no good. And the Raiders will come away with it. And up the floor comes Bailey Allman. The Raiders have not scored in a long time as Blitner will drive, work inside. It's double covered, so they kick it out. Here is Garnos, Allman back inside, Haley Halverson, turn around, jumper is good. And that is the first basket in a while, and it's the senior, Haley Halverson, that puts it up and in. 21-18 is our score. The Raiders trail by three with a minute gone here in the third quarter. With the basketball, Cogdill. To Flint on the left side, back out front to Cogdill, and she travels. Turnover number eight in the ball game for New Underwood. As the Raiders have it here, the Raiders have hit just one three-pointer, and remember in the district tournament run, in each game they hit many more than that, and a three would be downright handy for Lyman here. Garnos with the basketball top of the key, feeding to the right side, it is Allman. At the top of the key, we see a little bit of a matchup zone being played uh, throughout this third quarter, as we saw in the first half for New Underwood. Those three down low, guarding the baseline, but up top, they're really stretching the defense and really uh, keeping an eye on those long-range shooters, and the Raiders really have not had a lot of opportunities to do much inside. Here's Flintner with a runner. That is up and good. Anna Flintner got a step on the left baseline and went to the rim and scored 21-20. And after trailing by five at halftime, the Raiders have scored the last four to make it a one-point game. Here is a three taken by New Underwood, and that is good, and that is Lexi Niederwerder. And that is her second three-pointer of the ball game. 24-20 now, with 5.40 remaining in the third quarter. Garnos across the time strike. Now Halverson in the right corner. She'll throw the skip pass. Allman open. Three ball is money. Bailey Allman from downtown, 24-23, and the first points of the night 
for the 5'8 senior. They go to the right side as New Underwood works with a skip pass left. Three taken by Niederwood is no good. Rebound and the putback is there. And putting it up and in is Cheyenne Bentleff. She scores to make it 26-23. And it's back to a three-point advantage for New Underwood. As we're down to five minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Entry pass, Brooklyn Halverson. Now Haley Halverson. Chesney Garno, three ball is good. And that ties the game at 26. Chesney Garnos with her second three-pointer of the ball game. Here's Taylor Brindley to the baseline now. Shiana Bentliff will deal back out front. Long jumper deep in that is Cogdale. Shot is no good. Rebound Wyman and then the Raiders turn it over. Here is Butler making the defensive play as she blocks a shot from that left and the Raiders will have it. Raiders commit their fourth turnover and across the tight drive Wyman. Here is Allman. Three ball is good. Write it down for Bailey Allman. 29 26 Raiders and a timeout taken. 4 19 remains third quarter. 29 26 with 4 19 remaining in the third quarter. New Underwood uses their second timeout. They have three remaining. Remember, the Raiders have just two timeouts left as they use three timeouts in that second quarter. With the basketball, Autumn Cogdill. Starting on the right, drives to the left. Entry pass inside, shot is taken. That is Cheyenne Bentliff. He scores her second basket of the third quarter. And it's 29-28. Raiders lead by one. We're halfway home in quarter number three. Here is Allman. Now Cedar Jandrew. Get past Flitner. It's over her head and out of bounds. The turnover number five for Lyman. As now New Underwood will inbound it again, facing pressure. It is bent left with the dribble across the time strike. Corner three taken. It is up and short. Rebound Brooklyn Halverson. Now Bailey Allman with it as the Raiders will push it into their front court now. With 3.35 remaining in the third quarter. Jandrew with the basketball at the top of the key. Dribbling to the right. Now passing right. It is Bailey Allman with it. The Raiders may try to get a little deliberate here as they go to Halverson. Flitner down low. Strong move to the rack, but the shot is no good. And the rebound pulled down by New Underwood. They let him play on that possession and will head the other way. Niederwerder across the time drive with 3-10 remaining in quarter number three. Niederwerder now to the baseline. Bent left. She'll dribble it back out front. Now Taylor Brindley with it. Back to the hands of Niederwerder and Brindley now as the Raiders will stay in that man-to-man as they try to keep the ball away from Phillips and it really did some damage in the second quarter. Three take and that is up good and putting it home there is Taylor Brindley. Her third three-pointer of the ball game. 31-29 New Underwood and both teams are firing here in that third quarter. Allman on the left wing with the dribble used up needs some help as Flitner will come get the basketball. Now Cedar Jandrew with it. Back out to Flitner. Now Jandrew again as Cedar will drive. Loses the basketball to Bailey. Allman gets it. Shot there is no good. Offensive rebound. Jandrew put back is up no good. We're going to have a foul called. Jandrew at the line. Perfect at one of one. With five points in the first half, she'll put the free throw here up and good. And that makes it 31-30. New Underwood with a one-point lead. Substitutions in the ball game, as we will see Ashley Mortensen into the contest for Lyman. And we'll see Carly Robertson re-enter the ball game for New Underwood. For the tie here. Free throw is up and free throw is good by Jandrew. And we are tied again at 31. And now we're going to have a stoppage of play. And one of the officials, Mark Noggle, is going to go over and talk to uh, Cooper Garner. One thing that the new Underwood student body has done is they have rolled themselves behind the entire student body, has moved behind the Raiders' bench, which uh, they can do. And uh, I think one of them yelled timeout. And the official stopped play to check with uh, Cooper Garnos to see if that was the case. And after the discussion, New Underwood will end about it as we work our way to the two-minute mark remaining in this third quarter. Shawnee Flint with the basketball. Here's Carly Robertson on the drive. Shot is up and good. Carly Robertson with the bucket. She has four points. 
And after New Underwood struggled in the first quarter, Lyman struggled in the second quarter. Both teams are really rolling here in quarter number three. 33-31 New Underwood. Here's Anna Flitzer with the basketball. With the dribble, she'll bring it back out front. Into the hands now of uh, Jesse Garnos, who will go high post. Here is Flitner. In traffic, loses the basketball and turns it over. And that's turnover number six for Lyman. It will be Carly Robertson who will inbound into the hands of Lexi Niederworth. She'll work against Anna Flitner as the Raiders will show full court man, and we're down to a minute 40 remaining in the third quarter. 33-31 is our score, New Underwood lead. Here are the Tigers, bent left, entry pass to Robertson, and a traveling violation is called. Raiders again can tie or take the lead this time down. We're down to 90 seconds remaining in our third quarter. Garnos across the time track. Uses the dribble up, goes to the left side. Bailey Allman, entry pass, Flitner. Anna will drive and fire, and a shot is good. Anna Flitner with eight points in the ball game, 33-33. We're down to a minute 10 remaining in the third quarter. Here is New Underwood on the left side. Shot is taken for three. That is up no good. Shot missed by Bentleff, but she chases down her own rebound. They'll send it to the left wing. Here is Niederwerder inside a come to the shot. A nice pass and a shot by Carly Robertson. Basket is good. She has six points and it's 35-33. Allman to Garno. We're down to 43 seconds remaining in the quarter. Back to Allman now as he directs some traffic. We'll see if the Raiders will try to hold for the final shot of the period. As you wonder what backs into that 2-3 zone. A little direction from the uh, Raider coaching staff. And they are going to back it out. And time will wind down. We're down to 24 seconds in the quarter. New Underwood leading by two. Setting in that 2-3. More than content to watch the clock down, grind down. We're down to 15 seconds. 13 to 10. And here we go. Allman with the basketball on the wing right side. It is Garnos. Open three ball is up. No good. Rebound tipped around to Underwood with it. And a traveling violation is called. And the Tigers will turn it over again. That time, Taylor Brindley trying to make something happen. Could not. And Lyman will have it with two tenths of a second remaining. Time for a catch and shoot. Allman will be the one who will end out it. As it will come to Flitner, she'll fire. Shot is no good, and that is the end of the third quarter. New Underwood has the lead as Lyman will have the basketball as we start quarter number four. The New Underwood student body, as we talked about, is located right behind the Lyman bench, and they are in full postseason form here as the Raiders start out with the basketball. Garnos with an entry pass to Flitner. Ball is tipped and out of bounds, and Lyman will have to inbound it again as they have their first possession here of this uh, third quarter. In her fourth quarter, pardon me, Anna Flitner with it into the hands of Bailey Allman as the Raiders trail by two, and Lyman, I think, would be very content to, if nothing else, shorten this ball game up a little bit. Remember, it's just a one-possession game. And as long as New Underwood willing to uh, play in that 2-3 zone, Lyman is, can be very patient with the basketball here. Knowing that they can put some points on the board, they have hit some threes in this third quarter. And that is good to see. Allman with a three. Good. Bailey Allman with nine points in the ball game, 36-35. 25 seconds gone in the fourth quarter. Up to four. This is New Underwood. On the left side, three and six there, and it's good. That is Lexi Niederwerder, and that is her third three-pointer of the ball game. 38-36, New Underwood back out in front. With a minute gone here in this fourth quarter. Off again. Three is up and short. Rebound, Phillipson, and New Underwood now will have the opportunity to shorten the clock, but we'll see what Lyman does defensively. Looks like they'll play some man-to-man. On the wing it comes. Here's a cross-court pass stolen away. And another turnover by New Underwood. Costly one there. They're 11th of the ball game. And here comes Lyman railing by two. It is Chesney Garnos with the basketball. To the left side, Bailey Allman. He'll dribble left. Entry pass. Flitner who will deal. Nice up and under move. Shot there is blocked. Brooklyn Halverson with the offensive rebound, and the putback is good. Brooklyn Halverson with her first points in the second half, and we're tied at 48. Two minutes gone here on the fourth quarter. This is a six-minute ball game, or dare I say regulation. With the basketball, New Underwood. 
to the wing and Gump. Here is Dieterwerder, dealing, entry pass inside. Shot is up too strong, no good. Rebound, New Underwood. A hustle play made there by the Tigers as they will send it back out front. And another opportunity, Niederwerder will work with it on the wing now. Here's Carly Robertson into the hands of Brindley who will drive. Shot is blocked, foul is gone. As the free throw here by Brindley is up and no good. 38-38 is our score with 5.44 remaining in the third quarter. Peter Jandrew in. Ashley Mortensen will check out. As the second free throw by Brindley is up, this one is good. She'll hit one of two. And the Tigers with a one-point lead, 39-38. Here's Bailey Allman with the basketball out front. High post, Brooklyn Halverson. Peter Jandrew on the corner, here in the corner. Down low, Halverson. Nice move there, and a shot is up and good. Brooklyn Halverson with back-to-back buckets for the Raiders, and it's 40-39. to Lyman out in front by one now as we work our way to five minutes remaining. And now a loose basketball. It is loose, but New Underwood will win the scrum after it looked like Lyman was going to come away with the steal. Here come the Tigers now. Phillipson with the basketball. Into the hands of Cogdill, entry pass inside, drive and a shot taken, that is up, no good, rebound, tied up, no, no foul called on either side, and here comes Lyman as they win the battle, and then a reach in foul is called on New Underwood. Boy, they let them play underneath the basket there, and the Raiders got away with some folks. The question is, how much air do you take out of the basketball when you lead by just one? Here is Allman with the basketball on the wing to the top, Garno. Left side, Anna Flitner, and back to the top of the key. Garno's down low, Jandrew, shot! Good! Boy, they thought New Underwood cheat defensively, and Jandrew was open at the left side, and the nice pass from Garno, and the basket makes it a three-point game and a timeout to Underwood. No good. New Underwood will get the rebound, and then it's tied up. And the alternating possession will give the basketball to New Underwood. It will come into Phillips into the top now. Cogdill. Lyman will stand a man to man to the wing. New Underwood will try a three, and for the tie, it's up good. And that is Taylor Brindley. Her fourth three pointer of the ball game, and we're tied at 42. Halfway home in quarter number four. Here is Lyman with it. Allman on the wing right side. She has had the hot hand here in the second half. Jandrew in a pass out front. The whistle of a three-second violation called on Lyman. Well, Lyman had a turnover number seven. And now, Wonderwood has the opportunity to take the lead. Phillipson will receive the impound. She'll work against Flitner as the six-foot freshman will work it across the time strike. Into the hands now of Niederwerder as Phillipson will work the high post. Here is a three taken by Phillipson. Shot is up, no good. Garnos with the rebound, and the Raiders will have it. We're down to 335 remaining. Here is Flitner on the drive and a whistle and a timeout taken. Lyman will take a timeout here with 332 remaining in the ballgame. 42-42 is our score. Bailey Allman will trigger the inbound for the Raiders as she'll reverse it. Here is Peter Jandrew inside Brooklyn Halverson, the left-handed sky hook is up and good. Brooklyn Halverson now with 10 points. 44-42 is our score. 320 remains in the fourth quarter as New Underwood will go to work. Cogdill to the baseline and comes on the pass. They'll send it back out. Open look, long jumper is up and short by Bentliff. And Lyman will get the rebound. He's seen New Underwood stay in that 2-3 zone. We talked about New Underwood 
There are Lyman both. A three would be handy for them. For Lyman, a three would be downright handy here. Get past Allman. Three ball is up. And it is short. Rebound Halverson. Put back. No. Rebound to Underwood. They'll head the other way. Cooper Garnos is flooring for a call there. He didn't get it. It's the playoff, folks. And on the drive, a whistle and a blocking foul is called. And it's on Peter Jandrup. As New Underwood will inbound it here. The inbounds will come into the hands of Cheyenne Bentliff. Bentliff will operate, send it to the corner. Here is Lexi Niederwerder. They'll try to post up Phillipson, and she's pushed, and a foul is called. Inbounds will come to Phillipson as New Underwood trails by two. I post it comes, loose basketball, still loose. It's loose some more and out of bounds. It will remain with New Underwood. And Bailey Allman got a hand on it there, but could not catch it cleanly. With 2.21 remaining inside Phillips, the shot is so good. Rebound Bailey Allman, and now the Raiders can work with it a little bit. We're going to see man-to-man right away. A fly by New Underwood, and that is smart for the Tigers. They're going to try to put some pressure on the basketball. Here is Allman with it out front. We're down to two minutes remaining in quarter number four. Here is Jesse Garnos as the Raiders lead by two and out front. A whistle and a reach-in foul call. 44-42 Lyman as the inbounds will come in. Here is Jesse Garnos with it. Garnos on the uh, drive. As New Underwood plays in a man-to-man. Now Cedar Jandrew with it. As New Underwood digs in defensively. Jandrew on the drive and a whistle and another reach-in foul is called. And again, it's on Cogdill. And again, the Raiders will work the inbound. Remember, Lyman has one timeout remaining as... Garnos receives the inbound pass and brings it across the time strike. Here is Anna Flitner driving to the left corner. Double team passes off. Garnos with it. Garnos is in some trouble as she draws double coverage. Now Jesse has it knocked off her hands and out of bounds, and the Raiders will have to use their final timeout of the ball game with a minute 28 remaining in our fourth quarter. And now we talked about senior leadership for Lyman, and they have plenty of it on this roster. It's going to come down to them carrying them through here the final minute 26 of this ballgame. Jeff the basketball as New Underwood's got a hand on it. As they will inbound it here at half court, the inbounds will come in to Garnos who retrieves it in the Raider backcourt and she will work with it across the time stretch. To the right side it comes. Garnos out to Anna Flitner. We're down to a minute 10 remaining. Flitner on the drive. Back it comes to Garnos as Bay, or Chesney Tries to attack just a little bit, and then a reach-in foul is called, having to inbound it against full-court man pressure. And that uh, has been an adventure, but they, again, get it inbounded, working around the perimeter and draw another foul. This time it's on Taylor Brindley. That will be her second, as the Raiders will put it in play again. Again, Flitner will receive the inbound and work it to the left side. She is fouled, and that is Lexi Niederwerth. So now three throws for Lyman. As it will be Anna Flitner at the line. The Raiders are perfect from the stripe tonight at 3 of 3. Front end of the 1-1 one and, one and the free throw is good. 45-42. The next free throw, the big one, to make it a two-possession game with 54 seconds remaining. And the free throw by Flitner is no good. 45-42. New Underwood has the basketball now. And here comes Taylor Brindley. And we're going to have a timeout taken by New Underwood. They will have one timeout remaining. So now New Underwood will inbound it. And they will throw it in just on their side of half court as we will see the Raiders put in a man-to-man. The inbounds will come. Here is Lexi Niederwerder. Three to tie. As Niederwerder will drive, send it out front. Ball is loose but recovered by New Underwood and on the drive. Shot there is no good, but New Underwood will get the offensive rebound. Niederwood are inside Phillipson. Shot is up good. Brianna Phillipson with the bucket. New Underwood will use their final timeout now. And it's a 45-44 score. As the uh, Tigers over the foul limit, so the Raiders, uh, you would think, inbound the ball. Quick foul by New Underwood. will walk to the Raider end for free throws. As Lyman will set up the inbound play. And it will come in to Chesney Garno. Back to Anna Flitner. 
Now Garnos with it, and a foul out front. It'll be whistled on Autumn Cogdill. And Cogdill picks up her fifth personal foul. But Garnos will put the free throw up and in, and that makes it 46 44. As Garnos will step to the stripe again and get ready for the second free throw. That one is up, and that one is good. That makes it a three-point game, 47-44. And now New Underwood has to hit a three to tie the ball game. And the smart play there, out front, Jesse Garnos commits the personal. Remember, Lyman has fouls to give. Is that a team foul number five? And a smart play there by the coach's kit. The entry pass comes in. Here is Brindley. Long three. It's up no good. Lyman will get the rebound. Keep away game is on. Here is Altman up the floor and contact. And a foul is called. And that's going to be on New Underwood. The foul will be whistled on New Underwood. It's on Taylor Brindley. Her third personal foul. And Bailey Allman will be at the free throw line with a chance to steal the deal for Lyman. That is just the ninth team foul for New Underwood. So this is a one and one as Bailey will take the free throw and it's good. 48-44. And now the Raiders will get uh, away from the potential uh, battle for the rebound as Allman takes the second. That one is up. No good. New Underwood will get the rebound and up the four they come. Quick three. That is up short and time will expire and there's your ball game. And the Lyman Raiders are going to the State B Girls Basketball Tournament. Lyman defeats New Underwood by a final score of 48 to 44. For the Lyman Raiders, a very balanced scoring attack as all five starters score. Uh, led the way, leading the way, Bailey Allman and Brooklyn Halverson as they scored 10 points each. Cedar Jandrew off the bench, she adds 9 points. Anna Flitner with 9 points in the ballgame. Chesney Garnos with 8 points. And Haley Halverson with 2 points in the ballgame. And that is a total of 48 for the Lyman Raiders. Again, we mentioned the uh, free throw uh, free throw total for Lyman. They went to the line seven or 8 times seven times in the second half, and the Raiders wound up seven of eight from the free throw line, and the Raiders with just seven turnovers in the ball game. Again, nicely played, and the Raiders get the victory here and will go to the State B Girls Basketball Tournament.